Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this damn wound back thing is my ass. <laughs> okay, let's, let's call this meeting to order then because we've got a minutes and reports received and filed. None. None? Uh, Turn Commissioner on. Committee Liaison Reports, Upcoming Meetings, Events. Hold on, I'm muting my computer. I heard yours going off there, so I can mute mine. What do we got? Got Cole County. Oh, no. Board of Realtors Park meeting this afternoon. Got prayer breakfast meeting at noon. Got Board of Directors for the Realtors tomorrow. Campo tomorrow. Cole County Extension South African visit with a bunch of dignitaries tomorrow. Not sure why they invited me. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Can't say no, huh? No. Chamber uh, Connections Thursday. I hope you make all that stuff. <laughs> I don't have anything. Juggling. Really? So, nope. Oh. <laughs> or I'm not going. Oh. So. <laughs> I got Cap Region Board meeting tonight. Home Savings Board meeting tomorrow. Living Windows meeting at 8 a.m. But then 8:30 we've got the courthouse breakfast. Uh, Cap Region Medical Center marketing meeting three, 6 p.m. tomorrow night. Cole County Republican Club. Uh, Thursday night for the Cole County Republican Club. Your mother called me. I know, she told me. <laughs> she likes me better. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, she bugs him, huh? Bids and contracts. <laughs> Approval and signing of county website contract. This is the contract with Civic Plus that we approved. It's the base bid and then the addition of the... Um, mobile app. Jill's looked over and approved it, and there's two originals there to be signed. What was that other thing y'all met with last week? That yeah, Civic Ready. I just got the quote back yesterday. So, so do we have to wait to include no. it with this, or are they going to honor some kind no, of price? It, it, it can be retrofit if you decide to go that route. Okay. I think we need to go ahead and keep moving with this. I don't know. Is there any reason not to move on with it? We already basically approved it. We, we just approved need a contract, it. right? We approved the award. We approved everything. This is just the contract. Yes. Okay. And did we ever figure out how we were we were going to pay for part of it in this I think year? Christy finds out. Oh, on her. <coughs> well, if we get the grant, great. But if we don't get the grant. Yeah, we did find out. Do you remember what it was? It was something like pay. Pay half of it down, and then yeah. half of it on completion. So part of it would be this year, and part of it would be next. Yeah, that was the one that that's what it was. It, it was the kickoff, and then uh, at a at a percentage of the completion. But okay. the way we're looking, they said four to six months. So there's no guarantee. You know, it's most likely going to be next year. Yeah, Christy was applying for a grant, but we don't know that we'll get it, which would include, well, could pay for all of it, but. <coughs> Is that correct? I mean, is that what I remember? Yeah, yeah. That's she's applying for the full amount. Right. But we, whether we get it or not is another deal. Okay. So this is for the original contract and the app. Yes. Is that correct? Correct. I'm okay with it. Okay. Uh, I make a motion. We sign the county website contract. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 That, that doesn't include the Civic Ready. No. 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 Approval. Can, can I ask one question? Yes. Uh, part Dearly. of the, this whole process is a, there's a training for uh, for 12 people, and right now we have like no place for like a full time training room, and we certainly don't have the equipment to do it. So, do we want to go to look at some like permanent train PCs or you know, I have no clue how many we're gonna need. We got laptops. Well we don't really have I mean you can use mine. We I don't know how many we're gonna need either. I don't know if we're gonna 12. be twelve people at one time or if we're gonna do 
uh, or, you know, whatever, I don't know. But we did the training for BSA over at Sheriff's Office. Right, there, was, do, there was four, we had four that. machines we could do it. And that will work as long as we have four people. You know, I don't know what the... the he indicated is. that it wouldn't be 12 people sitting there the entire... I, I think we can stagger it and be okay, okay, but I still don't know what we have as far as... Okay, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just saying it might be something we'll have to touch base on a little bit later on. We need to pull some laptops or something. Just let me know. You're more than welcome to use mine. Okay. I don't know. Speaking for myself, but we've got three of them up here. There's one. If we need to pull them up and do it in here, we can sit around and do a lot of it in here. Okay. But it's, it's not a permanent, it's it's not a permanent a, training room. No, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, find us a permanent training room, too. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. Which way do you want to expand? I don't know. Okay. Approval and signing of 2015-21 access control. Um, this is the contract with all systems you guys awarded, and it is with the um, hourly rate as needed if needed instead of the maintenance contract. Mm -hmm. We already approved that, right? Yes. We just have the contract now again, too? Okay, yeah. I'm so we agreed on them. Fine. I move we approve and sign the contract with all systems for the access control. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Daddy, there's the website one. Approval and signing of the food service extension. This one. is um, ABL management for the food service over at the law enforcement center. Um, Sheriff White satisfied with their service and they had no increase. Okay. So this is just the extension of the original contract that was bid last year. I mean, we approve and sign the food service extension one contract. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Natural gas. Um, I sent you guys what I had put together. You should have the attachment and then I also sent you um, what Greg told me he'd probably be the best person to talk to. So. Looking at it today, uh, been watching what the gas market's been doing. Uh, it's actually dropped another four cents today again. Uh, 52 week low is 258.9, and today it was at 268.9 for natural gas. Uh, if we lo were locking in today, our cost would be $3.38 for Decatherm, I believe. Uh, and from looking at it, looking at last year, my recommendation is we lock our price in from November 1st through the end of March and do a 90% hedge on what we buy. What was, was it the last year that we did? Uh, last year. Uh, did we lock it in the whole year or what did we We locked that? it in the whole year for $4.73.44. Okay. So basically, it would be about a dollar or something, dollar forty difference from last year to this year if we did it that way, we and then let the market flow. Doing it that way. Yeah. Well, what Jennifer said is that we didn't really save that much by hedging last year. Well, last year we paid more because because we locked it in for the full year. And it was higher, right? Yeah, and then it dropped off when the market crashed with all the oil and everything else. But we paid we paid more if we wouldn't have locked it in but we actually we, paid less than what we were paying before right with we hammer and doing it this right way. yeah so yeah we still save money but, but that's as a much chance as we you could take have. locking it in my recommendation is we lock it in from november 1st to march and that's it and then see where the market is after that not lock it in for the full year will they allow us to do that i'm talking with jeff yes okay So it would be 90% of our uh, usage. Average usage for the year, yeah, for the for each month. For each month. Yeah. But what about, does that, I don't know when uh, ESB came online. Is that taking them out of the equation or? Yeah, yeah well, let's see. Yeah, well, they went through the winter. Okay. They went through the winter. So they should, there should be some usage there for it. 
Because it was August. August of last year when we were finished up that project. And then what about Pringer? Pringer's going to be dropping off, but I'm not sure how much it's going to be dropping off. And that may not even make the minimum usage for this contract. So I, I guess I'm okay with hedging everybody but Pringer. And just, just I don't know if we have to do them or, or what, or, or just take their usage down to zero. Oh, for whatever that we can, yeah. We got a usage from like April through uh, October that we can roughly use because that's about what they're going to be using anyways because water heaters and kitchen stoves is about all they're going to have. And that project will be done when? Uh, that should be starting the end of September. Uh, should be winding up middle of November at the latest. Or November, yeah. I'm good with the recommendation just as long as we, you know, back out printer's usage or adjust it right. by more than the 90, 90 percent. Yeah, we're going to well, adjust what we used April through April through November. It don't matter to me. I, <laughs> I would, we'll print. the hedging is, I think, is a, just a chance we're taking and a chance we can save money. But then if we, if we don't do it, we just go with the price that, it could drop and we could technically be better off that way. Right. I, I don't play the stock market. No, we're just rolling the dice, day. but. We're going to save no matter what we yeah. do. So. But you could save more if you don't hedge the price. Yeah, and if the winter's rough, then we, it could go up too. Quite right, so, so with a mild winter last year, we're hedging 90% of what we used last year. Last year was fairly mild. We get a long hard cold winter we're going to use a whole lot more than what we used last year and so right. we'll save on the 90 percent we hedged and then we pay market right. on everything over that 90 percent so yeah, i don't <laughs> think they know <laughs> harry what larry, 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 larry what do you, what do you, what do you say? think <laughs> <laughs> Sunny and 40 yeah. all winter. I'll take that myself. Yeah. I want lots of snow. So, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I don't either. Yeah, I'm fine with the hedge. Like I said, I'd be fine either way with it. Hedging or just going with the price. So, we want to try the hedging again and maybe this year. I mean, if saved us some money, if it, yeah. I mean, if saved us. Last year, we locked in full rate, right? Or was there a hedge? I don't. I wasn't far. We, we hedged 80 80 percent. Did 80 percent. Okay. So. So I move we award and sign the contract with Constellation for 90 percent hedge from November through April. Second. April yeah, or March? End of, end of March, which is April 1st. Okay. 331 then. Through 331. Somewhere around there. Yeah. So November 1 March through 331. Okay. okay, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Twenty fifteen dash thirty one toner. Okay, you guys should have um, an attachment in front of you. This is kind of one of those things you can get <laughs> down in the weeds pretty quick. If you look at the very first tab, that's all of them. I think there was 13 bidders from New Jersey to Colorado. Um, in the bid documents, it said that we need to be able to have same day delivery if needed. So that was easy to knock out a few. From there, um, just to kind of narrow it down, I looked at the ones. As long as they had either an alternate or an OEM in all the categories, I considered those the best bids. That came to three. Um, that's on the last tab. If you look at them, it's really just kind of a wash. Um, they're really very close. My recommendation would just be to award it um, to the lowest and best, and then kind of have Melody maybe give this cartridge solutions a chance, see if they do good, but those are remanufactured. The ones we've been using, um, the trend, we've had minimal problems with them. You can get some really junky ones in there. So I think that we just kind of want to leave those options open. That's my recommendation. It was the lowest and best in each category and kind of let Melody determine what that is. 
thought we'd Dale left. I thought we had a lot of problems with that. Some of those re like refurb. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Have we ever used the remanufactured? I thought we tried at one time or something. There's ones that just fill the ink, and then there's ones that, and I have an email from him explaining exactly what they do somewhere. But anyway, basically they go through, um, they replace a few components, clean it, and then refill it. Okay. Um, so that opposed to just refilling it. <clears throat> that said, they're not brand new. The compatibles are. I know we've done the refill, but I don't think we've ever done the recomponent type ones. Some vendors may say that, but yeah. you know, I mean, he's their been, wording is so different. I know. He's been in business since 1990. I mean, I don't know much about it other than that. But Which one is that? Cartridge Solutions. I'm on that last, well, okay. Which one are you Once on? Once again, I don't know where I am. I was on the last sheet. Yeah, that's the one that's narrowed down to the three. Right, cartridge solutions, same okay. retrievers. Okay, so we would go off of that sheet, lowest, best available? That's my opinion, yeah. Okay, I was going between the tabs and I got myself confused, I'm sorry. <laughs> Where's this one at? So you're on sheet one and you're showing, are you, are you taking the yield and then figuring the price off the yield or? Yeah. The, pro the usage and then the price based on the yield. So if there is different yields, it's adjusted for that on the final price. You should be able to click in the formula to make sure to double check that, but that's how I did it, yes. Okay. And so do we have any way to <laughs> to keep track of if we're actually getting that I yield? So. I mean, so Jeff, we got to sit there and count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't. <laughs> That is. I mean, but we do have counters on a lot of the. This, I mean, is that on a lot of the bigger ones or? Is, well, a lot of the multifunctions too, Chris. I think that are under the contracts where the companies come and do the toners anyway. So it wouldn't apply to ones like that. It would be more like the smaller. I see. You know, not the super. super oh, the high desktop. Volume, mm -hmm. those type of units, yeah. I mean, I just. <laughs> so it's really subjective. I mean, if you're taking the lowest price based on the yield, and I tell you that, well, I'm gonna get 12,000 copies out of my toner, and and so my price becomes a whole lot cheaper, and and I only get six, and my so my price is double. Yeah, I mean, I would think <laughs> yeah. they'd be fairly accurate. Those are published numbers. It's not something that someone just you know threw on here for the bid. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's what they do. Yeah. 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 Y
I'm not disagreeing with what it is. We may even be up there for one day helping read. It's like a four day. Yeah, I'm a reading, so. Lions Club's up there reading it one day. You know, we got Eastside Business Association's part of it, and maybe our Coal County Communities has brought it up too. So. Um, I mean, we would did the uh, so last year we did the hot bike tour, um, and I thought it was it was kind of a neat thing. I mean, I don't I don't think we did anything for the Shelby Fest, did we? Um, so, I, think so. I, think, I mean, I think a lot of those things have some, some valid, you know, economic development um, draws, um, bringing people to our community, putting heads in beds, um, you know, something for people to, to do and see. But, I mean, I see your point, but on the other hand, I'm okay with telling people no, too. So, you know, I don't. I just don't see uh, setting a precedence as a, as something where you just can't say no. Um, so, but I think they come through about maybe what every five years, maybe or so. <coughs> I just been here before, but it's been a while. Is it the Veterans Council that's bringing it in, or who? who uh, I don't yeah, recall. I, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeff City Veterans Council. Who is it? Jeff City Veterans Council, which is, which is Royal your VFWs, your American yes. Legions, your... Uh, They're all not-for-profit agencies. Mm-hmm. Because that's what kind of the other things are. We contract with not-for-profit agencies, so that would be the other thing. And I think it makes a positive impact on the community, and I don't know how much economic development it provides. How many heads and beds we have? I don't have any numbers on that. I'm just right. That's why I'm throwing up in the air. I don't have a whole lot of information on it, but I, I said I, it's I a good it. community uh, thing. It's good to support the our veterans that gave the ultimate price. I mean, I think twenty five hundred dollars is a little steep. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm comfortable at a thousand. We can give a thousand dollars to the Veterans Council for the moving wall, but. Yeah, I would second that if you want to make a motion. Okay. So I move that we spend economic development funds at $1,000 for the Jefferson City Veterans Council for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Moving Wall. I second. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 I won't do it, but we'll contract and then we'll have it at the next agenda. Okay. So. okay. What did we still have in our ED? Um, I guess. You have quite a bit in there. So. Okay. I was thinking we still had some that we hadn't used from 15 since we made that a line. Didn't we make that a line item this year? Mm hmm. And it all in one, yes. The ones that were non for profit were all considered economic instead of through job. Through general we had welfare. some under, yeah, we had some through the general public welfare and some through ED. Right. It used to all be under the same, but since it's maybe a one time deal, we won't do it again. Probably Christian being able to enter another account now, or we'll just put it under ED. That's fine. I'll check with the back. Yeah, I wouldn't make a line for it because it's not an every year thing. No. Okay. okay. Any other unfinished business? New business, accounts payable okay. review. Yeah, I've asked for approval of accounts payable. Jeff, yours is in there this time. So, so moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain. Discussion of tax levy for 2015. Okay. Well, you guys see your attachment there as far as it starts out with uh, assessed valuation after Board of E. And that's where it all begins with the tax levy. 
and then it's turned into the state auditor's office and they come back with our ceilings and that's the next reports you see under there the ceiling for gr is um, 0.3364 cents and the ceiling for um, road and bridge is 0 0.2706 and it goes through all those calculations and because of the EMS sales tax, we have the rollback of 60%, which then the next sheet is all about the calculations for the sales tax rollback. rollback. Once what you do page that, are you on? Um, it's the first time on the first <laughs> I see. Page yeah. 30. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got the 3364563500, whole bunch of numbers from. State yeah, state auditor. Yeah, keep going past that. Okay. Past that. Okay, I see something that looks like that there. There should be one dated 2014 and one 2015. What do you know what page it is? I'm on page 16. It's got pretty colors like you got on that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, yeah. that's it. 2015. You're good. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh huh. So this, what it's calculated through the state statute you have to go with the first six months of your sales tax for the current year and you put that figure and you double it um, last year was the same thing on the 2014 put the first six months and you double it but then in the formula you have to take what you thought was going to be here in 2014 versus what actually came in in 2014 and you have to add or subtract the difference to the tax levy in 15. is that new math or old math no, that's just <laughs> so if it's a new math, I'm done. <laughs> but, it's old math. I'm all right with that. <laughs> I just want to stress on that because it really does affect our tax levy this year because it was from the estimate based on the first six months of 2014 to what it actually came up with, we were $271,000 short. $271,000 short? $271,733.56. So, and the way the tax levy rolled back is We were short of our estimate. We were short of our estimate, based on how they told us to estimate. So we, we actually took in more than what we estimated. That's right. Okay. And what, what you try to do at the end is your tax levy and your property tax need to balance. So yes, we got more revenue and taxes. So in turn, your tax levy will be reduced because of that. So you go down through the calculation here and it's telling us through this calculation that, that because of the rollback and because um, maybe a little bit because we rolled back our tax levy last year in an even number year as part of this, um, the tax levy for GR can only be set at the ceiling, can be set at the ceiling at 0752 is the ceiling for GR because of the rollback. Okay. I'm going to answer more questions about that later. That's why. And I, I wanted to show you this next sheet. That's the third sheet past that. It's showing that our tax revenue has increased. So that's why that 273000 we have received it, just in a different way, not in the tax levy. And then I gave you some what ifs in GR. Basically, I'm recommending you stay at the ceiling, which is 0.0752. Um, I don't know if you guys see this next sheet. With the, the next sheet. Okay. Mm -hmm. It actually is a reduction in GR by $320,000. Keep in mind, $271,000 of that we received in additional taxes. So we're in a reduction of $48,632. And I contribute most of that to the volunteer rollback we did last year. So GR will be short going into 16 if everybody pays their property tax and they're all on time, which we know will never happen, is uh, going to be short by 48000 okay? Recommending the ceiling there. In public works, um, their ceiling could actually go up 0.0006. So it can go up to 0.2706. Last year you had it at 0.27. And to that effect, if you did that, it would mean an increase for public works for $56,740. Again, if everybody paid their taxes and paid on time. 
that fund would receive 56000 So I'm recommending um, that go to the ceiling on both of them. The next sheet is the notice that will go in the paper as of tomorrow. You guys decided last year just to go ahead and publish what the ceilings were compared to 2014 ceilings. So that's what's going in the paper. And again, the tax levy is set for the 25th of August at 9 o'clock. Then you'll have a public hearing if, um, and then you'll set the levies. And behind there, I gave you a history of the assessed valuation going back to 1995. And then on the next sheet is the history of the tax levy. And uh, GR and public works where it's been since <coughs> synopsis of the rollback of how that is handled. So there's no action today. I just want you guys to have that information and explain how we got to that. Um, again, you'll have time to talk about it, think about it before the 25th. And I'll answer any questions. If you have any questions. The gist of all that is that in GR, the taxes will be rolled back again from last year at 0.10 cents to 0 0.0752 to 7.5 cents roughly yes. right <clears throat> once again reducing property taxes for Cole County yes i'm good with it We just gotta get Larry to collect all those taxes. <laughs> yeah, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> you need to check with the other Larry to make sure they paid their taxes before you take care of their road. <laughs> You're just advertising it for now. We're not deciding anything. That's right. right. No, that's correct. No, we have to have it advertised. Just like you'll see all the school districts out there, you'll see the library out there, you'll see everybody because they all have seven-day notice of their public hearing and I'm not sure you know yes the county is rolling back theirs and it's saving on those dollars for the taxpayer and um, it all depends on what the other taxing jurisdictions do too but if you guys said it at the ceiling yes but I mean so it it really drives home the point that as our sales tax continues to go up and we increase our revenues on our sales tax, we're not really taking in any more money nope. because we're rolling back the other taxes. And so we're really living within our means. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, um, so I think, you know, I think everybody needs to realize that, that we're not increasing our revenues. Yeah, the newspaper needs to put, make sure they get that in there. <laughs> and that's why this long, that's why this long. You guys are broadcasting. That's right. That's why this long formula for the calculation is to make sure that the, the balance stays even between your um, tax levy and your sales tax. For the emergency medical the services. Yeah. doesn't have anything to do with the public works one. We don't roll anything back on it. So if we raise that one, then we will be raising taxes. Point oh 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 six. That's still a raise. Fifty six thousand if everybody pays. Fifty four thousand. Point zero 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 six. And a lot of that's due to new growth. You know that that's due to new growth in, in this, uh, and we have to supply services for all that new growth that's happened within this county. So you know you can look. At, that's what it's designed for too. That counties do get to take part in that. Because it's growing, we have to supply more services to people, so so that's why the ceiling is changes at some point. But again, that long formula does equal out general fund levy. I get what you're saying on that. I mean, in the road and bridge fund, you know, it it does increase it slightly, but you know, we've. Uh, I mean, I thought ten cents was low. Now we're going to seven and a half cents. And, uh, um, or that's, that's the highest we can go. Um, so, you know, we can't, we can't keep maintaining the roads for the same price year after year when our, when our costs keep going up. 
and we we're adding more road miles. Um, so anyway. And if you look at the history of there, the tax levy, we were at some points 37, 37 cents, you know, back when, and before the EMS, you know, the rollback, it was 33.55. So we've come down to 7.52. So. Yeah. Okay. You guys okay with going to the paper with it? I guess we have to do that. Oh, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. have a problem putting it in there. I think when you leave, that's why we've done it. I think we did it last year. Up here, so. We put the ceiling in there, and if we go less, we go less. But you put it in there at the ceiling, we have the public hearing, and anybody wants to say anything at that point. Right. So. Okay. All right. Okay. Because whatever you put in the paper, they're going to perceive as reality. And if you put anything less, it's not going to look good to go back and check. Well, it is reality. No. Well, we, yeah. That would be the max that we could do. I, I mean, we, internet, we could do less. True. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I don't believe everything you see there. It's photoshopped. Uh. <laughs> Especially if it's on your page. Huh? <laughs> it involves fire, probably so is. <laughs> okay. But it was safe fire. In house budget discussion with finance director. Okay, well, I know um, there's still other people here. I know you guys decided last week or when I was on vacation that the department heads can actually bypass and turn their budget into the auditor now, which is fine. Gives them a little bit more time to do that. Um, I think you guys did say if there was any major changes in the budget, if you'd like to know about it from your department heads, either now or at least before you, they submit it to the auditor. Mm -hmm. If not, uh, we can go over just the few budgets that you guys are responsible for, but I didn't know if anybody else had any other budget items they wanted to talk about that they are working on. I've got a lot. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> they say that this could be my worst year. Uh, we're Basically, what we're running into is some of our servers that we have in place are coming to the end of their uh, warranties, primarily. So next year, every, all the three-year warranties and stuff that we bought when we bought the servers new are expiring, so we're going to have to continue on or replace the servers. So with, uh, and the maintenance is usually around $800 a year. Um, but give you an example the recorder that had a server that's probably two years old and the motherboard failed I mean it just died so without warranty you don't go buy one of those uh, those are provided you, you get those from HP so you have you need to have that service to to have that contingency covered it's a, an insurance policy uh, something else we're looking at we and we brought this up before all of our phone so or not all of our phone systems Half of our phone system is e reaching end of life next year. And there are six devices, and I'm working with CenturyLink trying to get quotes for them right now. Right now it's looking around 20,000, but that's not taking everything into consideration. Uh, and uh, the last big ticket thing that uh, Rich and I are looking at is a new way to back up all of the servers in the county without using tape. It's just going to be disk to disk. And then uh, it's, we're going to, we were able to like back up the, the courthouse, but we can store a copy of that at one of our other sites like EMS or somewhere. We can put another device and then we have multiple copies of the backup. So each, each site would be backed up or have at least two different places that it has the backup. And it's all done. There's no tapes involved with it. We have a lot of problems now where, you know, tapes don't get changed or they break or they don't, whatever. We lose a lot of backups because of, fail, you know, human failure, mechanical failure. So we're looking at that and we're trying to get some reasonable numbers on that, but it's not cheap. But the, our, our big thing here is probably going to be $30,000. And the rest of the sites will be smaller, but there'll be some some lesser amount. So it could be up to maybe fifty thousand if we get everything together. 
and not saying we're going to do all of it, but I'm just we're just trying to get a plan put together. But um, so my my budget is going to be fairly significant, which I normally try to hold off on. This is not going to it's not going to include any new PCs uh, that I've seen so far. Nobody's really. I put out the thing for everybody to submit something, and I, the only thing I got was a couple of uh, health wants some monitors. Well, that's okay, but I don't know. I haven't heard anything at this point from many other departments, so that's that could still happen, you know, before the end of the month. So, but I just want to give a heads up. We're just going to have to look, you know, lose the numbers or whatever. I don't know. I don't nor normally try to submit anything big. Uh, but this could be a year that we're going to, a lot of things have going to happen. So 2016 has got a lot of expirations and stuff. Like that, so. But then we're good for. Oh, yeah. How, yeah. Well, however long you can. Yeah. So, so that's, that's the thing. Normally, you put these things, you buy three, everything we buy has a three year main warranty, and you think, well, three years is a long time. And the next thing you know, you look up and it's three years. Yeah. And you, you suddenly have to take care of it. So that's kind of where we're at. When you're talking about phones, are you talking about the phone? No, it's uh, actually the communication part that ties all okay. the buildings and stuff together. It's really Cisco. Well, it's the okay. uh, it, it's it's nothing to do with the phones. I'm afraid at some point the phones, Cisco's going to say these are old and we're not going to support them anymore. But right now, I can buy a refurbished phone for seventy five dollars. So that's that's not a show. You can have my phone. How long have we had this? Uh, it's going to be, we got them in, we really went live in 2000, end of 2007 or first of 2008. So the phones have been, when the sheriff went across the street, was about the time that they changed the model from this particular one to the next model. Uh, and they've been supporting this, which is good, but at some point they decided that they don't want to. We're out to 200 plus phones. So. There's a lots of big numbers if we change anything totally, and that's why you try not to do anything at one time. You just try to, you know, do it a little bit at a time. But the the six items I'm talking about is the end of life. Cisco says even if it breaks, we're not going to fix it, and so we have to have to move on. So I'm waiting, trying to convince CenturyLink to give me some numbers, and they're not very timely on their uh, response. So right now we're waiting on that. You can unhook my phone. You know, I get a lot of that. A lot of people say they don't care if your phone's working or not. <laughs> I'm serious. Just tie it to my computer. If they leave a message, I can check it on my computer. I I don't use my phone. The only thing it might be used for is a anchor weight or something. <laughs> Unfortunately, since we went to the PRI system, the phone line charges are... That's not the problem. It's all this communication yeah. is the expensive part behind it. Yeah. We don't pay per line. We do for certain lines, you know, fax machines or certain... Not even back. Yeah. I forget yeah. redundant lines or whatever you want to call them. So. But uh, I mean, I think the system works good. I mean, we have our you know two twos and pros on it. But it's uh, you know I don't know. I get it. Rich asks me all the time if we ever made our money back, and I have no idea. But you know, it's uh, I wouldn't want to go through the process of changing again just for the sake of doing it because it was not a fun process. And, uh, I'm sure it wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't be easy to say if we had decided to do it again so but uh, that's kind of where I'm at and I'm I'm planning on the September 1st date is there some reason that that's not going to work okay because I'm still like I said I'm still trying to get all these numbers together and it's it's kind of painful the one good thing is the 400 AS 400 should be going away January 2016 is what I was told by Dave Sabbath that the assessor is the last group on there and he's said right now he's putting a first go of his software and it should be all buttoned up by January 1. So I have not, the only thing that's been renewed has been the hardware because we have to keep it running. You know, it can't do already and it'll be through next August. But I'm not doing any product uh, maintenance or anything like that. So that's going to all drop off there. And that'll be, you know, several thousand dollars. So uh, we've already saved about 3000 by not renewing some some other things on it, so um, that's going to be at least at least a little buyback on that. So. But that's all I have. You guys got any questions? Or? I'm going to go back to the backup tapes. We still use tape to backup. Absolutely, we got. 
Hey, everybody, got, I got five sets of tapes I have to change. We've got iCloud and everything out there, and we can't back it up somewhere else in space. That's not going to be destroyed by a fire or tornado. I, don't, well, I guess I'm technologically challenged on this stuff, but it seems like if I got a phone that gets destroyed, I can go get a new one, hook it up to my computer, and I pull it out of space, and it brings back all my pictures and songs and well, Some of the stuff the I don't. problem with having everything in iCloud or whatever is anytime you lose um, any kind of connection, then you're done. And that's my biggest fear with putting everything on the cloud. Health runs into that quite frequently. Their provider um, is in California, or whatever. So everything they do is on the net. And if it goes down, they're done. I mean, their office is, they can't do anything. So it's kind of a. If I, iCloud goes down, I still have it on my phone. If my phone blows up, I still right. go back well, to iCloud. And, 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 and it's and it was developed that computer. way. Our, our products, like the AS400, you can, it just isn't built to do a backup to the cloud. Uh, you know, it's you know like, how I get when we talk about microfilm. Yeah. I'm the same way we're talking about a physical tape that yeah. we have to take out to public works and we store it out there. So that way, if a tornado comes through here, we can go, still but go out there and back at everything. At the same time, up. if you lost something yesterday, we just go put the tape in, and here it is. And, all right, pull it from iCloud and type it in. Oh, here we go. New computer. Well, I'm ready to go. You know, it, it could be coming to that, but right now it's we have how many? We just did a calculation the other day. We have four terabytes, and I have no idea what backing up four terabytes on a on a. We we would have to buy internet connections that are some parallel <laughs> to get that done every day. Uh, so that's kind of a kind of a deal too. So. Pretty good monthly for that, what we have. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't even come close to what we would need to do terabytes. And that fitting is named after a dinosaur. <laughs> terabytes. <laughs> yeah, terabytes, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying. Not to say that it won't ever happen, though, because it could. But right now, it's we're not positioned to really do that. So. I don't know everything about the computers and stuff, but it's just the stuff we can yeah, do with actually, it. It seems Jeff, like we'd be able this, to do that. This product we're looking at is actually similar to that, except we own, the, I mean, the box that's here. But it is, you're backing everything up to a, um, just to a device, and then as you do one big backup, then you just, whatever gets changed every day gets backed up. And then, uh, so those, those backups are a lot, obviously a lot faster than doing the first, the first one. So. I didn't want to get down in the okay. wage yeah. too far I down. Would, I, it's, I just, it's, it's, it's just not, weird it's that we can't do that. All that. So that's what we're trying to struggle with, the, cost, the best best solution for the cost, and uh, see if we can get something really reasonable on it. But we would like to pursue it, because tapes are, every time you change a generation of tapes, you know, if you have a big server, the tape won't back it up because it isn't big enough, that thing. So it's kind of an ongoing deal that you really don't want to keep into if you don't want to, you know, you don't have to. So. Anyway, that's what I have. If uh, you guys got anything else? No, Dan, no. just submit that to us as you submit it to the auditor. Same with the other departments, just submit okay. it to us. Well, I'll get it to you as soon as I, like sure. I said, if I get the confirmed numbers, I'll get it knocked out. And it out. Okay. So then if you guys just want to go over the rest of the little departments that are under your control before they're submitted to the auditor, we can do that now. Um, I think they're out there that I have scanned and sent you guys. Uh, the biggest ones that we'd be looking at is in general accounts, EMS sales tax, and our capital sales tax. I just need a little guidance for what you want to be put in those categories to what is submitted to the auditor. Again, when the auditor gets done with it, the budget will come back to you guys and you guys will have, you can change it and you can, you know, things will develop. Between now and when the budget is adopted, so it's up to you guys. You, um, if you want to go over each individual one of these, or did you email those, or are those attached? They were attached to an email, and they should be uh, attached out there as a, on the maybe not yeah. on your agenda. They weren't attached on the agenda, okay, but you did sorry. email them. And I could show you how to get in the. BSNA, and you guys can work on this as you go okay, and look here. at that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get with her, huh? I get with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you will. I will. <laughs> well, it's, it's under the general. Budget for 2016, is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, I'm going to need my readers. 
Yeah. So it's better to look up here, maybe. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because then you go flying around now. No, I, I don't go flying around anymore. I don't. I'll know how spin to in circles. Fly okay, how how where are you at, Debbie? Uh, yeah, yeah, you'll probably have an update out there. I don't know. You guys are doing that lately. I well, I have. You've updated before, I'm sure. Um, so show me where you're at and how you're okay. getting there. It's in General Ledger, so the application okay. for General Ledger. Oh God, I'm so far behind already. <laughs> Wait, it's not under AP. What are we under? Uh, general Ledger. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So we're still You're on the first part. Yeah, you have to general Ledger. Oh, fiddlesticks. Go to your main screen. Oops. <coughs> All right. Down there. See that equalizer in that there? Mm -hmm. Open that. General Ledger. Chris, is it making you update? No. Uh, I, I already did it, then so you I shouldn't in. have to it update, but I had to get back to General Ledger. And i got to be able to type right. I got my password. How does oh, it okay. remind you of that? Oh, yep, it's asking for an update. Yeah, it doesn't there you really go. take that Remember, long. you put S. Bushman and then your password. You didn't tell me your password, so I can help you with that. One. I don't know what my password is. It's the one that you used over there when we did the training. It's probably one, <laughs> two, three, four. Help. That's your luggage. Help. H E L P. Same as your luggage. <laughs> okay, you guys got it up a little bit? All right, so you just go to task up here. And then if you go to create or edit a budget. Mine's not. Mine was updating and it's not. This stuff. You have to reopen it. Okay. You want to allow the following program to make changes. I don't know. Just say yes. That sounds like, never mind. <laughs> Just say yes. <laughs> we get in trouble yet today. <laughs> today didn't start off good the way it is. I went out to get my newspaper, and I thought it was just a little stick. I was leaning over to step over, and all of a sudden it started moving. It was a big old <laughs> night crawler. <laughs> well, I don't I was know who's driving in a white truck, but somebody got to see me do about a <laughs> two second dance. <laughs> I thought it was a snake. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> yes. Must have been a pretty big night crawler if you thought it was a snake. <laughs> it was that big, but it don't take much to anything that looks like a snake to make a jump. <laughs> make a jump. Oh, my goodness. I thought, oh, that's about like walking into a spider web. You wonder who's watching. <laughs> yeah, I hate that, too. <laughs> Okay, you guys go into create or edit a budget. Uh, it's still updating. It's still? Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't wait for this to You've got to be a little more patient. It takes a while. Sam's hiding them up here. Yeah. Are you in a hurry? I can see to this well, point. I got to turn to Debbie here. Sorry. Right okay. okay. right. Oh, here you go, Debbie. That's return to you. Yeah. Hey, Lynn, here's one. Can you pass that to Lynn, too? While we're doing that. Thanks. Now it's configuring. How long does that take? It said 10 seconds, time re uh, remaining for about a minute. Probably because we're all on it right now. I gave that contract back to Debbie. The contract website one? Yeah, Sam gave it to me. He already signed it, but I didn't get to sign it. All right. I'm opening general ledger back up. All right, we got general ledger. Oh, I got to log in again. Yeah. All your applications are linked in your current shared database group. Utility billing. Yeah, just say. Just hit OK. Check the box and hit OK. I've read the warning. You got them on now, Not then? ready to continue. Yeah, that's right. Well, well I don't know about that. The county website contract. Like this yeah, yeah, right. I, yeah. She may have actually she didn't get it to that. Yeah. All right, now you go to task. Okay. And then you go down to create or edit budget. Okay. And now you can select what you want to work with. You can see it all. You don't have to see it all. I've actually, in department-wise, I've selected um, 127. So what you do to select it is you just go down here General and find account. it and you put it over there to use. 
Sorry, I'm not a trainer. In so. department? Yes. And we'll start with that one because. You got to move it over? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then you say okay. And then again, we'll just, we're going to look at all the accounts, all the projects, <laughs> revenue and expense in 127. So you hit okay? I already did. You did? You're so way okay. ahead of me. Yep. You said hit okay, so I did. <laughs> I was trying so, to keep up. So you, there you see the accounts. Then the revenues are all in the fours. Now you can look at the revenues separate from the expense, but I did go ahead and put both on there. So whatever you want to think about as we go through this. And again, you can see what we are allowed to see, the 2014 activity, the amended budget for 15, the activity year to date um, for 15, and the projection to the end of the year 15. And then you see the department's request. And again, this is your all's budget. I have put some figures in here. So again, we can change these. Um, as, as far as the revenue coming in for financial institution, if you click on that 8,000, well, I thought you could. Okay, we're gonna see my note behind that. You know, you have to double click on the description. Part. Oh, that's right. You have to go over here, the description or the account number? Either one, just double yeah. click on it. The account number, if you double click on the account number, you can see that there's a note behind there. And what I try to do is explain to you guys what that is, what that revenue account is, where the money comes from, and and the projection. Okay. Then you can go to your previous. Well, I guess you can get back out of here. And then again, the stock insurance. You can see that by that end there, that there's a note behind there. So then you can go to the next one, stock insurance. I try to explain to you what stock insurance was and what statute that comes from, and then again, the request that's in there currently. I don't know exactly. We talked about putting some of those description on the account itself within GL, but since this is our first go around with budget, I just put the note in with the account on budget. And you see the local use tax, and again, there's a note behind it explaining that. How do you know there's a note behind it? Um, do you in. see that in there? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. There we go. In front of the number and the requested? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Some you. things I do, some things I don't. Um, you know, I tell you whether it's an in out account, so you can see <coughs> down below what it is. Um, I'll get to a bigger one here, which the carry forward, um, I just, you can see this little attachment over here, this little uh, paper clip to the side. That is also actually a piece of paper that I've attached. And you can see that by looking up to the attachment. And again, this is just me coming up with a way of trying to figure out what the carry forward is. Old fashioned as it is, there it is. So, but it's it helps you to know that they're, you know, where I came up with some of it. How do you um, open up your note? I clicked on that paper clip. Yep. And then you're in it, and then you can go to the attachment right up above, way right up here at the top. Oh, so I got to open it and then go up to it. Where? Mm -hmm. Oh, there. Right the top. Slow down. Sorry. Believe me, this is all. <clears throat> right, so. So the R to the very left is a revenue, and the E is an expense. Yes. Okay. But I, I do want to show you the, on revenue, did I pass it up? Yes, I did. On the, um, the transfer, where's that admin? Oh, this, um, oh, I thought the department request, this. 487,000. Yeah. It's not moved over. you see the breakdown I put it out there and I'm gonna have the budget maybe if you put it in as a project does it show up different Danielle? She said I didn't think so but for some reason it's over here I don't know how I could have got it. Did you change that projected number? 
but it's got the note on it instead of over here. It's got a note on it, but it doesn't have it in there. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out, why that went there. But again, that at least gives you a visual of what's in that account, you know, the breakdown of all the different funds and where the money's going to come from. Again, that's a 3% admin fee on new revenue. It's not on care forward. It's not on anything else, but the total of all that is still right around that 487. I have no idea where that went. Shoot. It's hard to get that in there. Okay, we'll figure that out. But, but um, and you can go down through there. If you have any questions about what I put in there, you can let me know on this account. Um, workers' comp, health insurance, those are all in and out type accounts. And the auditing service, like the animal shelter, I just went ahead and attached um, the contract with the city on that where it specifies what the amount is and that we are going to pay the CPI plus that 100000 So anything I could think of and anything you guys want to see attached, you just let me know. <coughs> But again, whatever makes it easier, we won't have that drive so much out there anymore. This will be it. This will be everything I can think of to attach to an account. I'm going to attach it in here. Um, and or I write notes in here. The 911, uh, half here, half an EMS, we, uh, EMS sales tax. We can talk about that. What, what you want to do there going forward. Um, communications, obviously our phone stuff here. Uh, insurance, property liability, and then it does get spread out to the different funds also. Grove Ridge, Public Works, but EMS, law enforcement. <coughs> um, you know, and even in um, MAC, this expense here, before we had uh, Bidmo planning, uh, MAC membership, and NACO membership, and that's the estimates of each one, and we put them all together in that account. So under, what was it under? That um, is under this account number, which is, it kind of spells them all out in the account number. Okay. But it's kind of hard to get in it, do you see which one, each one of them costs you. I see it, okay. And again, these are estimates for next year. Postage, again, that's the postage machine here. And then we do bill out some of the departments. Not too many, but we do. Contingency, um, I just kind of balance that with the carry forward. It's all about how we don't have all the departments in GR. It's going to be when the auditor gets down with the budget, will we ever get to see that final picture? Because we won't see the elected officials' budgets within there until November, until you receive it. That I'd like to keep that the same, but, and we do have a little receivership money left still. So, and then, you know, you can close that, and you can go back into task, and create a budget again, and look at a different department. If I was to open all of the departments that are under you, it would give all of them revenue, all of them expense, and it's kind of hard to see what they're costing. If you don't bring them up individually. Okay. So, I mean, the next one I could bring up, I could put this one back over here and bring up our budget, which is 122. Put it back over there and just look at that budget. And again, well, we don't make any revenue. We try. There's no revenue for us. <laughs> so, then these are our expenses. Um, again, there's not, there's not very many accounts here. So I basically kept it. I actually reduced office supplies. Uh, I reduced me, uh, meetings and travel. Uh, I did up communications based on the actual expenses. So I put a note there. But, uh, so when the other elected officials have theirs entered, <coughs> like LVs, when he gets his entered, 
we'll be able to go in and look at theirs. Mm -hmm. We won't be able to change it though. Right. It'll be like read only. Until it comes down, until it's rolled down to your level. So, oh, coming down to our level. Or go up to our level. They can change any department's budget. There you go. Huh? Then they can change any department. Yes, sir. Does Before that notify the, that department? Well, if, uh, when the budget's adopted, yes. We don't actually change his, do we? Don't we change no. it on? We, he has a special thing, so we can't change his. Well, I mean, it's just like when they submit theirs to us, they're going to know how to well, change, right? We, <laughs> we can't decrease his budget. Right. <laughs> well, feel free to increase it. If <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But any changes we make, he's going to be able to see. Yes. Well, okay. in this budget, it's a whole module itself. You're going to see what the department requested. That's the level we're at now with your department, your actual accounts. Then it's going to go to the auditor's office. And then it's going to come back out down in the level with the commission. Yeah, whenever we used to get it before, we would have 2014, 2015 requested, or 16 requested. The and then we would have actual. Which is all those columns. Yeah. And they're just going to keep adding columns when it gets to auditor. Right now we're okay, so we won't be able to change his column. We'll no, be able to yes. change ours. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out is how they go back and look at it and say, all right, you know, where do you change stuff at? And like even on Increased the, it. Even on the bond thing, I went ahead and put that it's for my bond. We shouldn't have any of your guys' bonds this year, but I do get bonded. I don't just make sure everybody's comfortable. Um, so again, I didn't go into detail on any of these other accounts. It's kind of hard to know what meetings you guys are all going to or what training uh, options may be available. You know. So um, 127, 122, you guys are also in charge of 123, which um, is not much. We'll, we'll go to 123. Where's 123 at? General distribution. I don't have that on mine. I got it's 100. just the financial in and out. No, you, you're oh, in the wrong column. You go down one. Go back and then go down one. Back. Select departments. Yeah. Select accounts. So do I got to select that first, 100? No. You don't have to select 100, just go down to 127 back over. Move 127 back over, and then select what? 123. 123. I hate to make you do all that. It's just two accounts. It's just an in and out. I'm just trying to figure out how to get in and out of stuff, so when we're really bored, we want to go over budget since we only do this about nine months out of the year. Can't even enjoy our summertime, where Sorry. we got to start school again. And then after 123, you can put that back over, and then you could look at general welfare, which is under you, 143. Right. Close that out. Don't tell me to close that out. Create a budget, select phone. And again, I have not filled out anything here except for uh, pauper funerals. Uh, again, you guys, um, whether we get a letter from these people, whether we don't, then we'll just address it when it comes back down in November. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out what we wanna do. Yeah, and I know, yeah, Christian, I talked to you guys about maybe doing something different, having a pool of money and then letting them all put an application for it type thing. It's totally up to you. And here's that Civil War project. I know we did years ago. We did something. I don't know if that's the same group or not. That we talked about earlier today. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. All right. So, and again, I didn't put anything in there except for the poppers for right now. Yeah, and evidently we've they've spent. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's, it's it's uh, it's Maryland. It. Maryland. Schmutz are kind of. I did it up it. We, we had only budgeted, well, 2,500. I think one month we had like five of them or something. You know, yeah. Two month period. Yeah, so. so we never know what that is. So. No. And so then let's see what other budget you guys have. Law enforcement. 
which this is, I don't know, it's always been considered a separate line item just because it was. It's Department 165. <coughs> You know you got to memorize all these departments and numbers, right, Sam? Storing it up here. Storing it up here. <laughs> you can see he hasn't gotten past the login screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I don't know any of these account numbers. <laughs> Go back. Debbie says 143, huh? Well, then, this is the transfer from GR to the law enforcement fund. I did attach something here. What did I attach? Oh, I attached the Maxima study, that study showed how much computer services that um, the Sheriff's Office should be paying for computer services. So I just showed you that because what I did was take the 2 million 40 based on the 2000 computation that was promised, the, you know, this is a promise, it's not anywhere else, plus the computer services for 14, and that's where you come up with the 1 million 991. So, again, that's... Where can you go and find it now? When you, leave a note. Um, when you click on it, mm -hmm. it will. Uh, okay. You can just keep adding all the notes you want. Okay. Well, and I don't know if that's the perfect place to do it, but it's just. I'm trying to just figure it out. Ooh, yeah, you right. I can see some of this stuff and see where you came up with the numbers, because I would have been looking at that 1.975. So what the heck? Right. And then you have it on there with the <clears throat> minus computer stuff. So. Yeah. Cool. Just, okay. So is there anything that you need us to, to look at today? or well, The yeah. biggest thing after that, we want to look at um, the health insurance fund. If you want to look at that real quick, it won't. Um, what departments or what fund is that under? It's fund 620. Okay, if I get the right so, thing, we'll be all right there. I need to get rid of that department. Okay, 620. Sorry. See, and that's fine. I didn't say anything about it being fun. <laughs> I didn't either. 620, isn't it? No, maybe I'm crazy. No? Okay, it's Department 620 then. Can you? Medical services, cash forward. I'm already there. You are? Health insurance funding, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, again, we've talked about this several times. You see the revenue and two expense. You know, we don't get into much detail here. It's all money coming in and money going out. And, and I got notes here on the insurance revenue. This is payroll deposits from all funds. Okay, just to give you an idea, that's the medical services. That's the. No, I don't even know right now. That is out. Oh, anybody that reassurance insurance you know I, that's a guess that's a stab in the dark i don't know how much how many people are going to go over that reassurance for fifty thousand. but i did go ahead and budget some cash forward i'm estimating at 1.1 and again behind there and show you how i got to that estimate oh i just said estimate so sorry Okay, can you, can you just explain how, I mean, so is the health insurance on the revenue side, is that the money that we're putting in there as what we're charging the employees for health insurance? That's, right. that's, that's so that's at $580, dollars, dollars, yeah, yes. whatever, okay. So that goes in as the revenue into that fund. That's right. Okay, and then um, the medical services is the reinsurance? It's for claims over 50,000. That's right. Okay. Uh -huh. And so you've decreased that a bunch, looks like going forward. I just don't know okay. what we're, we're at. Um, it just, last year we actually didn't budget anything. Okay. This year, we didn't budget anything. Okay. I think we should budget something. I, I, I agree. So I decided, well, let's just budget that. So okay. And then the carry forward, um, I'd say we're gonna be close to where we were this year. And you mean the cash, the cash forward? Yes. Okay. Yes. And then so that's where the cash forward's coming back out on the contingency? Basically, yes. I'm saying hold that in contingency. Okay. Because I'm estimating the payments that we'll make for $2 million one. Okay. And, you know, if we have a bad year, it could be more than that. You know, you just don't know. So but, could have a better year. You know, it's all about 
and then the carry forward and contingency will balance itself out or you know I, I know I sent you guys that information on that and if you want to get another year under our belt see where we are think about maybe changing rates or I've got a call in to Joe I'm trying to get the fixed cost and the admin cost from UMR and see what they're going to do for next year so we can know where we are if we're staying if we want to look at bidding it out but again those are minimal costs compared to the actual claims that we have the fixed cost and the admin cost are so but we want to keep those in check too so I guess uh as I look at it, I mean, in 14, we had 2.4 coming in mm -hmm. under health insurance. Mm -hmm. Why are we down to 2.1? Have we decreased the amount that we're... What I did was take the average of all the payrolls and all the... We're about 188000 that we submit at, at the end of payroll into this fund every month. Mm -hmm. Employees up or down, and that was an amended budget. The actual, so far as this... And that's seven months. That's seven months. Um, and you don't know how many people are going to take family, how many people are going to take dependents, you know. So it, it could vary. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I just, I mean, so as I look at, so I go back and I look at, at 14 activity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we're setting aside 2.4 million. Our reinsurance is 133,000. And then our, our total claims paid out. 1.8 roughly mm -hmm. right um so that shows us a surplus right so as i go forward and i just look at you know we have some cash forward coming forward in 16 but looks like we're spending if, if your projections are correct we're going to spend more than than we actually put in in our account so you got 2.1 coming in. Mm -hmm. You got 50,000 in medical services. Um, you know, but you got 2.162. Um, so I mean, you're actually in the hole. Well, I mean, yeah. well, you got the interest earned there yeah. too. So, so I mean, you're you're dead even. But how does that continue to grow that cash forward? So when we have those, you know, those bad years. I mean, hopefully we have a lot of good years where we come in under, but if we have a bad year and we go over and that and that reinsurance kicks in. Those big ones. <clears throat> if you have a lot of small ones, you know, you're not going to get that reinsurance, reinsurance money. It's all about this figure right here. It's all about where the claims are. Mm -hmm. and, you know, by the time you wrap up and what I try to do on those, um, trying to set your reserve goals. Um, I try to look at the last three months of the year. That is most definitely the biggest months of the year that we don't actually pay until January, February, March. A lot of people get their deductibles met and then they hit it hard, mm -hmm. you know, the end of the year. And of course you don't see those bills till January, February, and March. Um, so we have 1.1 in there currently it, as our cash forward? I'm estimating that's what's gonna be at the end of the year. At the end of the year, okay. And we're about 1.2 right now. But Taking into consideration, um, which isn't bad. I know we have one employee over into reassuring right now. So um, last year we had four by the time you were here. We have more, four or five, something like that. Well, I, I mean, as, as I look at this, I just, uh, my concern is until we have really two years under our belt and we get through that 15 months, mm -hmm. which gets us out into March of 16 you know to and and then probably it'll take longer to actually get the data <clears throat> so i mean we're, we're another six months into 16 before we really have the data to know where we ended up um but I agree. um you know then then if our cash forward continues to grow and and we're not hitting too much in that reinsurance you know we could look at reducing that that medical benefit um, but, you know, I, I think the bigger thing is, is that <clears throat> even if we don't reduce the medical benefit, it's not going up. And so that's, that's the great thing that because at, at, 
at 10 or 20 percent increases i mean that cost just grows and grows and grows and and that's what we were looking at right. two years ago was 10 to 20 percent increases every year. every year the year i talked to joe too and <clears throat> yeah and, and right now next we can control that part of it the usage part of it you know then it ultimately is good for the employee good for the county that it frees up money other places so and if you guys want to get into, I know the health department was uh, on the cutting edge of trying to get us health promotion here. If you want to, I, I would assume we'll have to check with Jill. There's no reason why we couldn't use a little of this money into next year for incentives, for health and wellness stuff, type stuff. But I'm sure that's just a decision you guys would have to make. You know? And it's all about that. Quicker we can, get, and you seen those statistics, which really surprised me, on the, um, you know, the annual exams that are free to employees. How many of them don't take advantage of those? You know, okay, it's free. There's no reason not to take it. Yeah, I don't like to go to the doctor either, but you know, it's free. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Mammograms, men's testing. If it takes the health department to get involved to get our employees to do that, so be it. Well, yeah, I mean, we, we have to make people be more active in their, their health care. And, I mean, and that, you know, it's not just being active in your health care when you become sick or you become injured. It's be, being active in your health care, you know, from your 20s to... If you get older, it's more... Well, yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, <laughs> until it slaps you in the face, you know, that's yeah, not I, the time to, <laughs> to start I really don't want to be seeing Mike professional. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that. Uh, that's something you guys can think about. If you want me to put a line item in there or check out if we can use that money, I'm sure we can. It's up to you guys. But, but that, and you can again decide by November. Uh, we can, when we get the budget back, you can make that decision then. Um, domestic shelter is just an in and out. You don't need to worry about that. The next big one is EMS sales tax. I mean, I, we can do that one. It's pretty cut. Um, I guess it's probably not. If you don't mind, I'm going to bring up another spreadsheet here. If I can find it. I know I had it up before, so where do you think I can get to that now? That's the capital EMS. I know I there's a pretty copy of it too in there. This might be easier to look at first. Um, what I put in yellow there is Mike's request um, for. 2016 is the two ambulance and then he also has in there the vehicle um, replacement plan that we were talking about every six years for this happens to be his vehicle and then he has portable radios in there he has this radio st stuff and yeah and just then, zero that out and then you have the Lucas CPR compression thing the COTS, the, the third phase, or the second phase of the three phases. Mm -hmm. And then you have the total request down there of 506 of what he's requested. I know I did put this little miscellaneous thing here, if I remember you guys talking to the city about the 911, 75,000 maybe this year. So I did go ahead and put that in this year, so I don't know if that's, I haven't had it. Oh, that's, that's for the 911 upgrades. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I put that in there. So again, these, and this was our long range planning, um, you know, so these were all spaced out. Um, again, obviously can't change as we go, but we wanted these big ticket items to be available to us going forward so we know what we're looking at. Uh, will there be other stuff that comes up along the way? Sure, I'm sure there will. So you can see the difference in the money and how some years it goes way up, and that's just because that's how we are, you know, as far as when we started EMS, we outfitted them, and then we kind of outfitted a lot of stuff at the beginning, and unfortunately some of that stuff comes due at the same time. So, 
So, Mike, I probably asked you this before, but, I mean, once we get through some of these Lucas things and the stretchers and mm -hmm. the cots, I mean. It's just hard infrastructure from there. It's, it's right. I mean, so we've, we've kind of bought all the big ticket things yeah. and then yeah. um, besides the ambulance upgrades right. and replacements. Right. So. And as a plan, the first five years of our existence was invest heavily in the hard infrastructure. And mm -hmm. we've done that last year with the building, dispatch. Uh, now we're finishing up with the, the uh, cots, the Lucas devices, the monitors. So that's a lot of the big ticket stuff. Where do we come in on the remounts? Because we're still in the remounts on the ambulance, right? Correct. Yeah, roughly 100, right around there. Okay. So that 200 is a yeah. good, good number. Okay. And you can see right here, the, the like last year, 846,000, this year, 506. And then you drop down to 300, two, 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 three. And then you go back up. Oh, that's a, you're mm -hmm. on a different spreadsheet. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, you're all right. This one's easier for me to that's fine. spread out throughout the years to be on a replacement for each type of vehicle, uh, when the radios would potentially need to be replaced, when the That's the long, the long range plan. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we do Good. slow down for a few years here, okay. and then we pick back up here. Yeah. Okay. So that's giving everything remain the same as it is. Yeah, that's, you know, five years, could, a lot of things can be different, but for the next two to, two to five, you've got a reasonable expectation of what costs are going to be. So then, it, then I went and equated that into BSNA, and so like the sales tax figure, what I, um, So then what I have attached there is their um, 2014 tax levy, and you can see our roll back there. And I, for whatever, I took 2014, what we received, and added 2% to it. I know I gave you guys the total at the end of the sales tax yesterday. It actually went down for one month, but we're still up for mm -hmm. the year. Now, if you guys don't like the 2% that I've added to the estimate to estimate revenue, we can take it back down to currently what it's going to be this year. But uh, we've been, I would say, for the year up every month, not each month compared to last year, but up for the year. Year to date. Yeah. yeah. Don't we just go flat with it usually? Uh, this year, 2015. I know you probably didn't like doing that. I know, but we usually for actual. We projected it. Yeah, just going well, flat. Well, we project our ending, yeah. our annualized. Into this year, if you want. I'd like doing it. Okay. I'm gonna I mean, it's still kind of a projection because you're you're trying to project it annualized, but right. you don't. Flat is a safe bet. I mean, mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, like you say, year to day, you're up, but month to month, it, it fluctuates. But staying flat, it, yeah, that is a reasonable expectation. I would concur with you. And that total right there is less than flat because I took 14 and added two instead okay. of using 15. Okay. So that's, that's the less. two seven forty seven or the five seven forty seven. Five seven is actually less than actual. Right, yeah. than actual. Yeah, okay. than actual, I'm sorry, yeah. Or an annualized. I mean, it's right. it's kind of projecting out <laughs> still, so but. If you guys want to use current, then we'll, when we get there, we'll do that. And again, carry forward is just what I think it will be. Um, and we'll have those, uh, so we figure what we take in, and on sales tax, it's what we take in in the current year. Uh -huh. So we'll have that in December. Uh -huh. I mean, it'll, we'll get it the first of December or the first part of December, but it's actually for November. That's right. But also, like in January, it's for the previous year, December. You're kind of a month behind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah we budget based on a cash basis. Right. Okay. So, yeah. but you still get 12 months in there. Right. Yeah. Of actual. And so there are the expenses, and you talked about that transfer, so I'm just going to go into that account. That transfer, um, you see the 60% rollback, mm -hmm. and that's what it equates to. And then you see the transfer to the enterprise fund to make them whole. Mm -hmm. And then you see the admin fee of 3%, which that amount should have carried over to the app. 127, but I don't know how to check that out what the problem is. So that explains what that 4.6 is so much better than what New World could do that. I'll give them that. So that's the total. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give them that one. <laughs> but, and then the same with um, 
oh, there's all the other expenses. I went ahead and put all of those in there that Mike talked about. And if you go behind here, you will see what that is. Uh, two remounts at 110 each. And you'll also be able to see the attachment that Mike had submitted. So keep in mind, my capital request is a grand total. Right. However, the capital, the way it's broken down when you see it, ambulance capital is in a separate line. Right. That's right. And that's right here. And so what I did there is I tried to break that down for you too, is those items that he had requested. What, what fund were you looking at for uh, that? Um, it's Department 901. Oh, you're still in 901? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you just popped, pulled up a note or something? Is that what you did? Right. If you click on the account number, then you'll be able to see the note behind there. Just on the sales tax? Um, Income? No, on that expense line item, which is capital. Which is oh, I was already account. there, yeah. yeah. Okay. I thought you had said something about the, uh, the, income? the enterprise fund. Um, right. In that transfer, you see that transfer expense right there, that 4600 If you click on that one, you'll see that this is the transfer to the enterprise fund. Now, when we get to the enterprise are, are fund... Are you under capital? Yes, Yeah, I don't see that. It's in that form. Okay, get off to that one. It's in the transfer. I'm sorry, I keep saying capital. You're in the capital account, aren't you? This one. Transfer. Okay. Yes. So then you'll be able to see that revenue in the uh, okay. enterprise fund. So it's all very clean and. Transparent. You can see it. Yeah, it's very transparent. That's yeah, it's very transparent. So, again, you see, I never told you this, but down at the bottom, obviously, you can see this total revenues, total expense, net. Always revenue has to equal expense, so there's no net here. So, okay. so then sales tax, if you guys are okay with submitting that to the auditor, then or if you want to look at this, and we have another agenda meeting before then, uh, but my biggest one that we have left to do, and the last one we have left to do, is sales tax. Um, sales tax is, um, let me bring up another spreadsheet. Do I have another spreadsheet? Can't have too many spreadsheets. Um, Which sales tax are you doing? Capital. Okay. of this five-year sales tax and I know I've had this spreadsheet going since the beginning and it's from 2 to 16 um, I'm sorry 12 to 16 and it's all the activity that we've done and all the expenditures that we've had so at, if you go to column um, right here J which has the actual as of yesterday or Friday or whatever it is Sunday uh, this is the money we have in the bank, 533000 okay? Of that, we are still going to collect, oh, wait a minute, yeah. I'm sorry, 533 is what we brought forward from last year, 15, and we've brought in another 575 this year so far. Okay. So we have both of those together. Mm -hmm. But the column I'd really like you to look at is the, where we're at at the end of 15. Is right now we have 600. We have 763000 right now, okay? And we anticipate getting in another 277000 of taxes okay. by the end of the year. So we have about a million forty-one by the end of this year. Okay. Of that, this is the air conditioner at Juvenile. Pringer. AC, okay. mm -hmm. air okay. conditioner at Pringer. This is the security, okay. I think, that we just signed this morning, countywide security. And then we have the website that we just signed this morning. 
right? And then we have this 18,000 for microfilming, that was promised, that I, if I remember right, from circuit. And then you have 25,000 left from what um, we budgeted compared to what Dale has spent. And then I did add an extra um, little bit for BSNA that's still out there to be paid. And then this is what's still out there on the flyover from GIS. Okay. Uh, unless I'm missing anything else, which, what is this, 2000? Um, we probably have some tax increment financing still to be paid. I think that's on the, what's that? Oh, Donahue's down here. So um, by the end of the year, with those things paid, we should have 432000 to start 2016. With that, you'll take in another 800 and some thousand, okay? Is that just the capital improvements portion? Just the 15% of yep. the capital improvements. For facilities. For facilities. Mm -hmm. Unless some other project comes up between now and the end of the year. <laughs> we got plenty of projects. We got windows, yeah. yeah. That's the one I was thinking the of. 20 and that one will probably, well, I don't know, we think lap over in the next year, paying for it if we do. It's do possible. It. It's and of course, there we've yeah. applied for a grant for some of that. Yeah, that'd be um, nice if we can get some of that help with the courthouse, but it's not um, going to pay for the annex windows. Right. We also have receivership funds. Mm -hmm. We got half a million left in there. Yeah, 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 five hundred eighty. Uh, I think Judge I mean, Joyce that said would she be something that we need to look at. And that would, you know, so that gives you an idea of where we've been, where we're at. You know, obviously it helps you plan for renewing. You know, this one would and. And it would actually help in our long range planning then, too. And then, you know, we go back to this with our building. Um, and I, I don't know, you should have a list. Otherwise, I put the list in here, and you guys can access this at, under budget, under commission budget. Um, I put in there for 16 everything. Out on the F drive? Yes. Okay. Just where, the, where it was last year under mm -hmm. 16. Um, so I put in there everything Dale has requested. You know, there's his windows, his estimate. Great. I put it in. Oh, Greg. Oh, Greg. Yeah. You're all right. okay. I'm getting old. <laughs> I must be thinking about Dale. I don't, don't know. That's bad. You're good. Okay. And the parking. Oh, windows could be computers. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Debbie. Sorry. Yeah, windows, but exterior. You know, I just that scared the hell out of me because when Dale was asking her, telling him that his budget might be a little different this year, I did not see a seven hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he would okay. be very upset. If that, was, that was the amount. So you see all what Dale has requested. In. Mm -hmm. Great. Hey. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna Debbie? write that down. I have a brother named Dale. I guess I'm gonna Greg. Okay. You sure. Yeah. Sure, his name's not Greg. No, we're all D's. I can tell you that. So there's his priority list, and you know he did A's, B's, C's, mm -hmm. and D's if they're not priority. So I put those out there for you, whether they're priority or not. And again, then he went to the annex, and he's he's suggesting these things, and this is his priority list. So, and then Sally Port, nothing, and then Carnegie Building depending on what we do there. There's some figures for you. Health department, and again, depending on what you want to do there, there's some figures. Pringer, um, I think the big one is that general. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Shepherd's building. Um, place the air conditioner in the, AC, in the meeting room, and then the heating thing. And then you see the law enforcement. I don't even want to figure what that's going to be 25 years from now so I won't be here so <laughs> sure you will yeah public Forget, works. yeah ho hover around you <laughs> yeah <laughs> countywide phone system so there I did put you some phone stuff in there but that maybe just be I had that in there and I try to come up with a vehicle replacement schedule for long-term planning and what I had on there was one for maintenance and one for planning that's totally up to you guys. And so, if we could afford all of that, we spend two million eight. And what did I say we had? Eight hundred thousand plus. Eight hundred thousand plus four hundred thousand. So let's say you got about three quarter of a million plus the four hundred you had left over. 
So one, two. So you four, don't even have enough for half of that. Twelve mm -hmm. plus five, yeah. And of course, all of that wouldn't have to be done right now, but I'm just saying, I just put it there like that. Oh, well, what else comes up? Right. Because the windows kind of came out of the blue. We weren't expecting that. And I have no idea. Because we got the courthouse going. sealed and everything, and supposedly that was going to take care of it, and then we find out the windows were put in wrong. How come that happened on both buildings? They weren't both done at the same time, were they? And actually, we didn't the courthouse. Have this building when we did no, that. that was. No, that was way before me. So that they were both put in wrong. And that what they're that saying? Was, I think Tom Brown was. Yeah, he was. But was didn't Tom. they say they were both yeah. put in wrong? These windows were put in wrong. Those were put in wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those were put in backwards. This was yeah. blank. This was well. We added on this top floor, and we added out on both sides. Or, no, Did you talk to Associated Press office. then yeah, about the legislation to get money on What's What's tickets the stuff? Yeah. I said it would be it an Chris? interesting option. I was Chris talked told her. I th yeah, I did too. I said it's just, it's, it's some, ridiculous. Some it's an interesting now, option. And I if, don't they already assign court costs and fines to the tickets? That should pay for the court itself. I'm not voting for it. Mm. To, uh, it's, it's not, it's not going to right now. The, well, the governor beat it, tell you that, so it's, yeah. it's a moot point. So that was the whole thing. If legislation, it's not, the legislators want to do it, then they can put the yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a moot. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> so, Chris, I just went over that whole thing about the, the buildings and what yeah, they she didn't wait for you. It's fine. <laughs> Greg, God, what Greg had submitted. I'm, I'm having all timers too. So... If you do everything Greg submitted and you leave that 200000 in there for phone, computer stuff, and you do a replacement plan on the vehicles, you're looking at two million eight with only a 12. Is that in 16? Yes. That's doing everything. But again, that wouldn't be a smart thing to do either because we want to stagger some of this stuff. You know, we want, we want to be able to afford it 15 right. years when these things all are. But I mean, so one of the big things that's probably in there is the windows. Yes. Yeah. And so once we knock the windows out, now we free up a lot of money to do other things, right? Depending on if you want to use that reserve in GR, um, the windows, both buildings would probably take up, uh, assuming on those estimates, will take up more than the sales tax we're going to bring in next year. So then we would have to use the reserve out of GR, and we'd have to use the receivership to do anything. Right. But, you know, I mean, so the, so the downside to that is by not doing anything, we're deteriorating our building even further that we've spent 300 and some odd thousand dollars in ceiling and, you know, roof and new gutters and all. I mean, so we've spent all this money and we, by not getting the windows fixed, we're just... I mean, it's like we're going backwards. And you guys are doing the right things. I mean, there's no, you know, there's some buildings that are in question, you know, and mm -hmm. you guys are standing still on those until the questions are answered. Mm -hmm. so. so. So I just wanted you to see that within B, within the software system, I have not plugged anything into the budget for sales tax. Well, all right, you just tell me if you want me to plug some figures in there and let it go to the auditor and we, then have time between now and then for you guys to figure out exactly what your plans are. And, and again, the plans with capital change daily. I mean, you guys probably won't know what you're going to do until we have the bidding on the windows. That's 28, yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, and again, in sales tax, I have not plugged, I don't think so. I have not plugged anything. Revenue or expense. Assuming that you guys want to talk about it, think about it, or... Or we can technically send it up to the auditor's office blank. They can submit a budget in there, and then they can go forward with their budget. We yeah. haven't done that. I've usually given up something, and then. I mean, I'm okay with, with you filling it in or just putting something in there as a placeholder. I, I mean, that's all that it is until we get really down in the in the weeds on it. Um, you know, I guess my question. Maybe it was more for Greg, but you know, of that 2.8 million, 
you know, I'm just wondering, does that include a new roof at Carnegie? Um, does that include a new heating and cooling system for the courthouse? Um, you know, I mean, just I'm just thinking of some big ticket items there that that uh, are going to need to be addressed. And um, you know, I know the the Pringer HVAC was a big one. Yeah. You know, I mean, it came in more than what we thought. And so, you know, I'm concerned as you know, we look at these big ticket items, and we're always going to have the small items. You know, we can we can eat those fifty thousand dollar items pretty easily, but. Um, but those four hundred and five hundred thousand dollar items in that seven hundred thousand dollar windows, those are those are hard ones to yeah. to knock off the list. Um, and just like capital and EMS, this capital, you know, at the totals at the bottom, when I can take that windows and I can hopefully put that window down for another how long the windows last. Mm -hmm. You know, we won't see that again for quite some years. Sure. But there'll be other things that come up. But yes, as far as the Carnegie building, he did have the the um, retucking and windows in there. Oh, you said roof. Yeah, he's no, got 100000 for a roof. roof and I'm not sure that'll get it, but what about the courthouse and the heating and cooling system? He has 400000 in there. Okay. Okay. And I didn't know which place to put that in. So sure, I that, that's fine. Well, so like, I mean, we just got a new air conditioner out at Health because they're shot crap. So, I mean, you know, besides besides looking at at space for other people, um, you yeah, know, that's a little bit of stuff in there for the health building. But again, this right. is all subject to whatever right. you guys do. So, anyway, it's a some for prayer. Okay, well, I will go ahead and put some figures in there. I'll give you guys an email telling you it's all out there for you guys to look at in okay. notes. And then I'll wait till the last day and I'll send it up to the auditor's office. So she'll be able to know that it's done. Okay. Um, if you guys have any questions from now to then or have any concerns about what I have in there, just let me know. Okay. Um, I only, I I only had a any. couple little things. Um, okay. So under 127 in, in economic development, is there a way that you can put some more notes or categorize that as to what's going where? Do you want me to put what we were doing this year out there? Or? Yeah, just so where you're okay. getting, you know, those. So I think there was $300,000 out there total or something under ED. Now I know a lot of different things fell under that, so I'd just like to be able to see that and then that's the chamber contracts under that too right yes should, should be yeah that's why that's so big otherwise we were only at about 50. yeah well i thought we had done 200 but we also took some of those things that were in general welfare and we put them into like salute fell under um ed and and i think there were some others too yeah. um and also under 127, I saw it uh, in 14, we did household hazardous waste. Are we not doing that anymore? Or? Well, at the beginning of it, it was a grant with the city. And so um, then we made an agreement with the city for three years, I think it was, to pay them about the same amount as a grant was. But Christian didn't want it in the grant line anymore. So it's falling up there under miscellaneous. So I, I'll put that in the note for miscellaneous. Okay. Yeah. And I'll, well, I could put that in the note of that account, too. Because okay. I did the same thing. I'm like, where is that money? Where did we get that? <laughs> but okay. it was because it wasn't a grant anymore that she didn't want to show up in a grant line. Okay. It was just an agreement with the city. All right. That's all I, I had. The first five years were paid for out of the grant. Was we it got five? Them, I think it was five. It was a certain amount that we had to put in each year. The first year they paid for them big pods and stuff. You've been out there before? They, I have not. I've sent my guys down there all the time. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got, I got people. Well, actually, you mentioned a, a tire collection too. So we're working on trying mm -hmm. to get one of those. They're actually wanting to do an e-waste, mm -hmm. maybe in Jeff City, and then one out in the county too. Those are fairly well yeah, attended too. Well, it's just hard to find places to go with a lot of those things. Um, it's a good thing for the county too because mm -hmm. it, it keeps them from throwing it into ditches and then we gotta go pick them up and right. then we gotta get rid of them anyway so yeah. we're, we're gonna try to get another one of those but that HHW has been a, 
I think that's been a good thing. So. Yeah, I'll put that. I'll write that in there. Anything I can think of, or you guys see it and kind of want to know more about, just let me know, and I'll try to attach a copy of the agreement. Try to do something. That's fine. No, I, I think for the most part it looks good. Is there is there a way for us to go in there and attach a note or just some comments on that too? You got full access to that too, so okay. you can. You know where that note was. You can double click and you can get another line and you can write a note. Okay. Okay. If you put a dollar amount in there, then it will add to the budget, which is okay if that's what you want to do. Right. Okay. Yeah. We got closed session yet today? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Okay. I'm done. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay. All right. Cheers. So then we'll just need a motion to go Perfect. into closed session, or you got something yep. else? No, nope, I got nothing. All right. I'll make a motion we go into closed session present section 610.021. Sub three? Whatever it is. <laughs> Second. I'm good enough with 610.021. <laughs> Aye. 610.021 is good enough for me. All right. I got to get ready some coffee. Just found the air. If you don't mind. Y'all I just feel Thanks, like Jeff. I just feel like I'm picking, but if somebody ever sees that. Come on.